The House of Representatives has pledged commitment to collaborate with security agencies and institutions to strengthen security in the country. The Speaker of the House, Abbas Tajuddin, stated this during his welcome back address after a resumption by lawmakers from a two-month break. He said the summit will address the security challenges in the country as well as explore the issues of state policing and other related issues. On the economy, the speaker said the country has demonstrated resilience and potential for recovery despite facing inflationary pressure and high cost of living. According to reports from the National Bureau of Statistics, this growth occurred in a challenging global economic environment and underscores the efforts to improve the economy. While unemployment and currency depreciation remains a major concern, International organizations like the IMF have acknowledged Nigeria's effort to diversify its economy and improve fiscal stability, signaling optimism for sustainable growth in the coming years. Also, the Speaker commended the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, for the successful conduct of a do state governorship election. He condoled with the families of Oba Gabriel Oromalaran, the Owo Obokun of Ijesha Land. Chief Emmanuel Iwanyamu, President General of Ohanez Ndigbo, and Haji Adada, mother of the late former President Umaru Yaradua, and a minute silence was observed in their honor at the plenary. In a related development, the House has mandated its committees on Federal Capital Territory, FCT, Environment and National Emergency Management Agency, NEMA, to investigate and report back within two weeks the cause of the tremor witnessed in the FCT. This follows a motion of urgent public importance raised by the House Minority Leader Kingsley Chinda during plenary. The House is mindful that tremors, if not adequately studied and addressed, could lead to a loss of life, displacement of residents, and significant economic losses, especially if critical infrastructure is affected. The House passed for second reading the supplementary budget proposed for the FCTA as requested by President Bola Tinubu. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.